Welcome back to my channel. This is Bob. Um, if you live in Florida or you have a house in Florida like I do, um, many people won't realize that uh, the amount of tropical plants that you can grow in Florida. Uh, for example, Florida is not a, a state in the U.S. with, uh, with, uh, with banana farms, but here is a banana. I, it bears regularly for me. Um, very sweet, very everything is good, just as good as uh, bearing in Jamaica. Um, you know, here's a, a papa. Here they call it in Florida, they call it papaya, uh, largely because uh, it came into the country from South America, which is a Spanish name for it, papaya. Um, British people on British territories call it pap papa. Um, Believe it or not, here is my aki tree. It's pruned back uh, a little, um, but uh, I get, I mean, you know, I, I can't tell you. I'm loaded with ackies from it when it when it bears. The only problem with it is that squirrels uh, eat it. They climb on the light wire. If you can see the light wire is up there. They climb on this light wire right here, go here and come down on the tree and they would kill the aki tree. I mean, not not literally kill the ackee tree, but they eat a lot of ackees, even before it's open. Uh, see my outside cat uh, kind of running away. Yeah. So um, here again, cocoa. You see, um, I grow cocoa there. I grow um, dasheen sometimes. Um, I grow renta yam too. I grow St. Vincent yam. Um, believe it or not. Uh, here is a uh, Nesbury tree. If you don't believe me, let me go close to it and show you. Those are young Nesberries on it coming up. Mm -hmm. um, how about the grape tree? You don't believe me? There's a sea grape. Look at it. If you know sea grape, you can tell the leaves. Yeah, sea grapes. Um, and they bear just like regular grapes. Um, here is a. Uh, it's a salsa tree, if you know what a salsa tree looks like. I just happened to chop this one down, prune it down, and start nourishing it again because it's um, it's not really bearing as much as I want it to bear. Um, so mango tree, again, uh, I pruned it back. It Mango season just ended, so I pruned it back because it's growing too big. And as you can see, I don't have a big backyard, so I do what I can. Uh, this is a bay leaf, um, you know, if you know the bay rum, this is the leaf I use. It's actually a cousin to pimento, smells exactly like pimento, you can use it for the same exact thing. Um, another mango tree, but how about this? This is a apple tree, Jamaican apple, O-T-E-T -E apple, believe it or not. See it in the pot? Mm -hmm. Grow it, I had one tree over there, it was bearing very big, I chopped it down because um, it was getting too close to the light wire and thing um tamarind tree how about this you know a tamarind tree look at it believe it or not see tamarind tree right mm -hmm. this here i cut it down but it's a jackfruit tree um i i pruned it back and then i'm gonna start nourishing it again because i didn't like the quality of the the um the jackfruits um this you probably know the moringa um, looks close to the the um, the tamarind tree, but moringa tree. Yeah, um, my miniature June plum. See them? Look at that. Lots of June plum on it. Actually, there's a ripe one right here. Yeah. Um, some more grapes. Grape tree. Mhm. Mm Cerise tree. Cerise. Yeah, I'm stuck with cerise. Growing a little cane pot right here. Oh, and uh, a yam, see here, um, growing you some yellow yam. Um, ginger, how about ginger? See, ginger here. See, mm -hmm. rosemary, yeah. My pear tree, here they call it avocado. I, I pruned it down because um, the hurricane it was the hurricane was creating a threat with uh, how close it is to the house. Um, this is my major south up tree here. 
Let me see if I have one to show you as proof. Because sometimes people people not believe so them thing I can grow uh, America. See too? See? I'm gonna sauce up young baby one. Them so not to touch them because they more drop off. <laughs> But um, I don't find that to be so. And you see the blossom, see the blossom some more. I mean, I have woolly pop in there so you can't see them because it's kind of dark. All right. Um, how about coconut? I have woolly pop coconut trees, of course. Um, some more cane. And um, pineapple. I have a whole heap of pineapple. I plant pineapple till I'm tired. I'll show you something later on. This is a sweet sap tree. Very nice sweet sap. Um, mango tree, my Julie mango, my prize Julie mango tree. You know, they don't grow very big, very fast. Um, pineapple, I prune back all the pineapple because uh, I got more pineapples than I can actually deal with. So then they prune them down. Um, more mango trees, a lot of mango trees. Um, more coconut trees here, sir. And uh, mint, how about black mint? Peppermint, Jamaican original um, peppermint. I have lots of it here, see? One tree, one tree, one tree. Fever grass, see over there? Fever grass and I have different patch. I forgot to show you some around there. Um, some rosemary. And we have whole a single Bible, what we call um, aloe. The big, the big leaf ones them. All right, one day I'll make some drink and show you what I do to make the um to make aloe drink. All right, and this is my little bench. I sit to do my a lot of recordings. I love outside here. Not a carpenter, but I can't help myself. All right, and um, you see all my crotons, so you can see it's a typical West Indian yard, a typical Jamaican yard in a, a foreign. All right. Um, I might be missing a couple of things, but I think you you get the, the gist. So I'm dry, drying my coconut some right here, so growing some of them. You see some of them growing, like this, this one growing here, sir, and so forth. All right, so just want to show you that, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that uh, the when you're living in states like Florida, it's not, not all over the U.S., though, just to be mindful. Um, when you live in a state like Florida, um, you can actually grow certain things, all right? Um, you know, uh, it's not a tropical state, but it's subtropical, and so it can grow some things. Um, some things will struggle, while some things um, can very well grow easily. All right, so again, thank you for watching. This is Wake Up and Live with Bob, and I just want to go out with a shot of my cat just chilling out in the grass he thinks it's a it's a sea to him so he loves to sit down on the grass and roll over and play and stuff like that so this is Chester all right Come up. show them show them how well behaved you are all right all right thanks again for watching this is wake up and live with Bob and if you haven't yet done so please like share and subscribe to my video and tell someone about it. Thanks again for watching.